Okay. Well, at least we do get use of the uh, four-player or well, four-party member attack there, which I probably should actually make use of. So once we get up here, if we can ever make this jump. Come on, game. There we go. Okay. Go ahead and make use of that. See how long it lasts. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I see. We do have to make use of the axe. So we're stuck here until this runs out. There we go. Scene, so... Oh. Well, I have no idea what was said. Apparently these, uh... Ogres here, these Oni, are amazing at spinning with their clubs, though. So. But we are climbing up into what seems to be the castle and or tower of the Oni, so... Maybe we will actually do a good deed and rid the world of this, uh, scourge of Oni. Or maybe we won't actually... Eh? Uh, can't use powers. Can I throw sticks at it to... No? Can I sumo-slap the tower down? I can't enter the mouth like you would expect. Oh, I had to jump up from there, I see. Okay, so I guess we're going after the Oni King now. Oh, who happens to look like the, uh, Thunder God. Switch back to the axe. a very small hitbox target that I'm aiming for here. Once again, I have to question how actual kids would have managed this, but I suppose it's not insanely hard, just very hard. And unless I'm mistaken, that should pretty much be it. There's not anything else to the story, I don't think. Usually, defeating the Ogre King or Oni King, Demon King, is where a story like this would end. Or maybe it will continue on. <laughs> so, I guess we, we will just be enjoying the continuing adventures of the Douchebag Kid. I don't even know what that was. It's like a mouse in a skull, apparently. Wow. A little bit dark for this kind of thing, I guess, but, uh, sure. Okay, and we're going underground and wrecking up some nice mouse house. <laughs> After all that, we just walk out on them. This game sure is something, man. So I do wonder, um... No? Yeah. second there, I thought the sticks and the honeycombs might be tied to that, uh, multiple-person attack there, but does not seem to be. I guess it's just a situational thing. Hmm, what would be up there? Gotta be some reason for all these difficult jumps. Or maybe there isn't. <laughs> Okay, so 
so that's unavoidable damage, which I saved it into, but that's okay. Still have loads more rice balls. Not really worried about that overly much. Hmm. Probably just extra sumo up there. Sure, there is some other way that I'm unaware of that we could use to uh, high jump here, or maybe double jump, or something of that nature. I have no idea, so I'm just going to carry on. And just assume that that is most likely just an extra sumo match that would probably get us maybe extra sticks or extra honeycombs or something like that there. <laughs> Well then, I guess we're now battling a woman in an overly large kimono. Who has turned into... Oh dear lord, giant spider creature. Who is one of the easiest bosses, if not the easiest boss, we have faced to this point. Okay then. Well, we killed the spider woman. We actually did a good deed. Even though we busted up a mouse's house for no reason. So I guess the day kind of balances out to being neither good nor bad. I guess we're going left. A little bit of a change there, and now we seem to have, uh... Or what do they call the, um... Tengu. And mountain bird creatures. <laughs> oh, hey. Uh, uh, scrolls it off the screen. Whoops. Looks like there was a honeycomb there, but... Again, we are pretty good on honeycombs, whatever they do. Okay, and just had to check start is, in fact, to pause the game, and nothing else. And the mechanics on this axe swing thing are a little tiny bit wonky. It doesn't quite work out exactly like you would think, and the timing of it is kind of very, very small window in order to actually Make a good jump. Oh, oh, didn't even notice all the sharp bamboo down there. No, oh, <laughs> no real matter. And yeah, we are definitely good on sticks. Quite enough out of the birds, thank you. Typically with this kind of Game Boy platformer though, it doesn't usually go on much longer than eight stages, so either this stage or the next should be the last stage, I'm thinking. And again, there has to be some method of double jumping or glide jumping or something, some kind of way to go higher or longer than we have been with this. don't think there's going to be anything super necessary up here, but maybe there'll be an extra sumo battle or guy with a big banner <laughs> who will take us somewhere. Don't know where we are, so I'll say no. Oh no, we are stuck now in this choice. Okay, I will assume then that this is where we are intended to be going.
Yeah, this whole axe swing mechanic is not the best thing to be basing half the platforming in the game on. No, I guess maybe like a quarter of it. Rice balls, which is a nice round number for that. And if I do actually use all ten, I would be kind of downright amazed. I don't think any of the bosses coming up will be that difficult, but it's still nice to have. And again, the jumping is just kind of too floaty to be managing that, but mostly works out. seem to be pretty evenly matched. There we go. Managed it with just regular button mashing again. And they definitely mentioned Tengu there in that little dialogue blurb. So we will probably be facing a Tengu boss maybe right around here. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Boss. Come face us. Or, um, not? This seemed like the direction we were all heading in. What gives, game? Did I not accomplish something on the way up? Or... I'm confused. I can... Yeah, that, that, that's the thing. I can read all of it, I just don't know all of the words. So, you know, I would be able to speak it aloud. It's just that I have, like, a... I don't know, the equivalent of, like, a first grader's vocabulary, so... I wouldn't really understand all that much of it. <laughs> And yeah, I am now at basically a total loss. This is back down at the beginning, I'm pretty sure. That's just a sumo section for extra lives. Hmm. I suppose I will have to check for a walkthrough in a minute, because... Yeah, um, I got nothing, I have no clue. It really seemed like the whole intent and thing we were supposed to do was climb the mountain and get to this upper left spot up here, but we're here and nothing's happening, so... Maybe we can deface these, um... Tengu statues and... no. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> okay, so it is walkthrough lookup time then. It's just, um... Kind of get the feeling that uh, this is not going to have one, though. How about that? There is not actually... <laughs> no, there, there is no walkthrough for this game, or other information, so... Kind of unfortunate. Don't know what else we could do, or where else we could go. Now there's more sumo stuff, so why not? Give it a shot. Just, um... It's actually even auto fire and speed button our way through. So we got a thing, but I have no idea what that thing was. I know there was another sumo match down here. Let's do 
same thing again. And, yeah, I have no idea what that accomplished. Back to the beginning of the stage, I actually do remember this now. That's a good question. Um, this was made by Tonking House. Tonkeen. <laughs> I only know of a few other Tonkeen house games, and I only know of them because they were on uh, episodes of Game Center CX. Just kind of hoping to skip one there, but no such luck. 